blessed day and welcome. The verse for meditation this morning comes to us from the book of John, chapter 3 and verse 30. He must become greater, I must become less. In an ecocentric world, where greater attention is on the individual and his bill of rights, John the Baptist, the forerunner of Jesus Christ, declared an important statement that needs to be brought to remembrance on a daily basis by all Jesus' disciples. John chapter 3 verses 22 to 30 describes an argument between the followers of John the Baptist and a Jewish religious leader over purification. When the disciples of John reported that everyone was following Jesus instead of John who in fact baptized Jesus, John's response was that Jesus must increase and John must decrease by eventually fading away. Rather than being selfish about our own applause, we should be happy when our efforts cause people to praise God. John makes it clear that Christ's mission was his mission and seeing it succeed brought him great joy. When this verse begins to take effect in believers' lives, they progress from being ministered to becoming disciples of Jesus Christ himself. Today many Christian leaders find themselves in the same spot as John did. In fact, the goal of teaching and preaching is to lead people to follow Christ. At some point, those people should grow and mature. The point of ministry is not to make the minister look good, but to help others in their walk with God. Those who have been assigned positions in God's kingdom must bear in mind that they are not the center of attention, no matter how popular they become, while carrying out God's mission. The constant focus must be on Christ, not one's self-pity, ego or pride for that matter. One's ultimate goal in ministering to others must result in the Lord being revealed and glorified. Let us pray. Abba Father, as we minister to others, may our aim be to bring you honor and glory while our identity fades away. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.